हेलो एंड वेलकम 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 गाइस वेलकम टू आवर टॉपर इंजीनियर क्लासेस एक्सचेंजर सीरीज ओके सो इन दिस एक्सचेंजर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्टीन अक्टूबर एग्जाम क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव इंक्लूडेड फ्रॉम वर्बल एबिलिटी टू सोलो कोड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग कॉन्स नेटवर्किंग एंड क्लाउड एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो टेक्निकल आर ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन विद द एप्टीट्यूड so without wasting any time let's start the video the first topic will be the verbal ability the question is is we have to find the best replacement for the underlined part okay so one of the options are given it's easy just find the best replacement now reading the sentence when iv called in sick her task for the day was divided okay so iv is sick and her task was divided among paul and i okay so there are two peoples so for two people among is the wrong word first of all among is for the group of people so we have to find an option without an among so option a and option c can be that next for the best sentence the name of the another person should be should come first okay so it w- it will not be i and paul so it should be paul and i so the overall answer will be a between paul and i okay so this is the answer now moving to the question 2 choose the best replacement for the underlined part of the sentence again same okay now i would like you to pause the video and try to solve it all so you have come with an answer okay so let's see you are right or wrong when making a cake make sure you don't burn the oven for too long okay so the task here is of making a cake and we and the underlined part is don't burn the oven for too long here the verb is burn okay in the sentence the verb is burn so we don't burn the oven we actually run the oven or use the oven okay so in option we can see there is a burn and run only two verbs so the burn option is the wrong one so we are eliminating option a and option c so we remain with option b and option d okay so for making a cake we don't want oven to be heated for too long okay so the oven should not be running for too long so option b is the wrong so we want don't okay so the negative part comes here so the option d is the best best answer here okay okay so here we have to arrange logically the sentence given okay so five sentences are given and we have to logically make a whole paragraph out of it so uh, what what we can do we can do in a we can solve it in a two way either we can read all sentence right now and then we can arrange it in a logical manner or else we can do it in a smart way like just directly look into the options so in the option the first point is 1 or 3 okay so option a and b suggest us the first sentence will be 1 and c and d suggest us the first sentence will be 3 so 2 4 and 5 are already eliminated so just read 1 and 3 so the one is i had the car service just the previous day so i didn't expect what happened next and the option 3 is my wife and i were taking a road trip to the other side of the country so see the sequence of this sentence should be 3 1 not 1 3 like for the one there should be an a base okay so base of a story the the base of the story will be my wife and were taking on the road trip to the other side of the country and i had a car service just the previous day so i didn't expect 
what happened next so it will be the best okay then uh, we have concluded that the first sentence will be 3 and the second sentence will be 1 okay so here option C and D both are 3 1 and the next sentence is already 4 suggested by option C and D so we got that the third sentence will be 4 so just as we crossed out of state limits we heard a loud pop okay so this will be the third one nice then option C and D suggest us 5 and 2 okay so let's start uh, let's read point number 4 and 2 then point number 4 and 5 let's see which is the good one so just as we crossed out of state limits we heard a loud pop my wife stopped the car and asked me to check where the sound had come from okay it sound good okay move to the 4 and 5 just as we crossed out of the state limits we heard a loud pop and no we had not one but two punctures May much to the anger of my wife see here the question uh, the point number five has no base it directly comes and no we had not one what what not one so that answer to that what is in the point number two where the wife asked the husband to check where the sound came from then the husband says we had not one but two punctures so it will be four two and five so the whole sequence is three one four two five the option d is the correct okay moving to the fourth one here we have to find an error in the sentence so here see the you can see the sentence is a question at the end of the sentence you can see a question mark so is the medicine this is the correct one is the medicine is no nah, okay so uh, as the end is with question mark the starting should be with wh question or is okay so is the medicine this is not an error you suggested is the medicine you suggested okay let's see further also effective against body ache mm -hmm. so here we can understand is the medicine you suggested is also effective for body ache we can say it like that right is the medicine you suggested also effective for body ache not against body ache we want that medicine to work also for the body ache, not against the body ache. Okay, so you got it? Yeah, option D is the correct. Now, let's see the fill in the blanks with most suitable option. The town's pond needs fish to eat mosquito larvae that can grow in the dash water now here actually it, it's not a verbal question but it is also a general knowledge question if you know how and where mosquito love is generated is produced then you can answer this question in a one second okay so always a mosquito produced a love on a stationary water which is still not a running water okay you will not find mosquito larvae on the river or a, uh, in a ocean or anywhere else you will only find it in pond or your tank or anywhere in where the water is stationary like water coolers where the water is stationary okay so their mosquito love is produced so option b is the correct moving to sixth again so here we have to find again the best punctuation for underlined part what i can do i can give it to you this as a task you can you can answer this question in the comment box below 
okay so it will be the great you can do it it's easy it's very easy so it's a question again and you have you can solve it moving to seventh question fill in the blank with most suitable option okay fill in the blanks i can see there are some article on the options so here we can read the sentence our car was stuck on the road in a snowstorm without dash snow gear okay so snow gear doesn't start with a uh, sound of a vowel so option a is eliminated snow 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 is not a very uh, vowel so the option a is eliminated after that we don't have a bunch of snow gears right snow gear is only the one it's the one so the c option is also eliminated so here best option will be the our car was stuck on the road in a snowstorm without the snow gear okay so here we are directly aiming towards the required snow gear so the the article is the best option here then moving to question number 8 since we refuse to practice he began to fall dash in his class since he refuse to practice okay so there is an action which he refused and there is a reaction for that he began to fall what can be the best let's see he began to fall out in his class no fall out no that's not the correct fall under in his class no fall through in his class no fall behind in his class okay so for this if you remember there is a nine rule okay the rule is called nine rule nine number nine so behind fall behind in his class so according to that rule behind in his class is the correct answer okay so we are moving to the passage now i would like you to pause the video and read the passage so that you can understand the next upcoming questions okay so you have read the passage so we will start with question number 9 choose the option that is closest in the meaning word quintessential as used in the passage okay so we have just uh, need to find the meaning of quintessential so according to the dictionary quintessential is anything about typical being typical okay being as a perfectly tip, uh, typical so that the popcorn will be the essential also but it is the only one option which is the best okay so the answer is d okay so here the passage is primarily concerned simple what is the passage is about so options are debating discussing no no one is debating it's not a debating debating will come with a two persons view right but there is no debating so the option a is eliminated then discussing the rise in popularity of popcorn yes we have discussed the rise how the popcorn have been popular and discussing how popcorn was invented no we didn't discuss much about that how the popcorn uh, seeds were uh, invented and all no we didn't go to that point discussing the economics of making popcorn well we have discussed a little like it is cheap and in then 1885 the machine the handy machine was invented so that the popcorn can be made anywhere so the correct answer is the rise in popularity of popcorn moving to the third question popcorn become popular in movie halls because so here answer a is the correct one 
क्वेश्चन टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक विद द मोस्ट सुटेबल ऑप्शन द डिस्प्यूट डैश लास्ट वीक ओके सो द डिस्प्यूट सम निगेटिव डैश लास्ट वीक लास्ट वीक इज अ पास्ट टेंस एंड वी वॉन्ट द सेंटेंस शुड बी इन अ पास टेंस सो द डिस्प्यूट वॉज सॉर्टेड आउट लास्ट वीक सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट वन Okay, so moving to the second topic. So it says identify the one which follows the sequence. Okay. So we have to find the missing sequence object here. So I will start with the problem figures one. Here I can see there is a black circle on the right top. Then it moves to the right bottom, and it will it moves to the left. bottom of the square okay so it is actually following a circle so it will be like this then left top bottom and then it should be on the left top so here it should be the dark circle okay looking in the uh, options given below so option 1 can be the correct option 2 is the wrong because there is a hollow circle over there option 3 can also be the correct one and option 4 can also be but in option 4 you can see there are two black circles okay so but in the our problem figures there are no black circle uh, no two black circles actually so option 4 is eliminated now the fight is between option 1 and option 3 so in the option 1 uh see there is a star okay so in option 1 there is a uh, dark star and in option 3 there is a hollow star but if we see on the problem figure there is no hollow stars all are dark filled stars so option 3 is also eliminated okay so option 3 4 and 2 are eliminated and option 1 is the correct one. now the second question is similar here we again have to find the missing missing Okay, so mid in the middle column. If you focus in the middle column first, there is a hollow triangle on top. Then there is a hollow triangle on bottom, and then there is a hollow triangle on top again. So in the missing uh, uh, block, so hollow triangle should be on the bottom. So let's see the question one is wrong. Then question two can be the correct. Question three is also wrong, and question four is also wrong. Okay, so we got the question answer is two. But let's check for other hints also. So let's see the arrow. So arrow is pointing up, then it's pointing down, then it's again pointing up, and then it should point down. So option two follows that pattern. Okay. So let's see the dark triangle. So dark triangle is at bottom, then it's at the top, then it's again at the bottom. So it should be on the top again. So option two again follows that. Okay. So there are three hints which are being followed by option two. So we will tick the option two. That is the correct one. Moving to the third question. Okay. So the third question is about statement and conclusions. So I would like to you to pause the video and read the statement and conclusion, and then come back to video. So you have read all the statements and conclusion. Okay. so the statements are all stamps are basket okay so let's make a circle so let's assume this is a basket okay and all stamps are basket okay so all these stamps are basket okay and then some baskets are hamster so some baskets are hamster so this is the hamster okay Hamster, and there are some part of the basket which is, which is hamster. Okay, so there are some stamps also which are hamster. So our conclusion can be, some stamps are hamster. Okay, so let's see the conclusion which I give. All baskets are hamster. No, this is wrong. Not all baskets are. Some baskets are hamster. Some hamsters are stamps. Yeah. Some hamsters are also stamps. 
the conclusion to follow. So option B is the right answer. Going to the fourth question. Okay, so we got a sequence and we find we need to find the missing term. Okay, so this is Daisy. So if we can see the difference between the first and second number, so it's three. Then the difference between second and third is seven, and likewise the difference is eleven. Okay, so here the difference is unknown, and again here the difference is unknown. Okay, so see here the difference between these numbers three, seven, and eleven. It is actually increasing in in a in a in a pattern actually. So if we can check. The difference is four. So three plus four is seven. Then again, seven plus four is eleven, and then this number should be eleven plus four, that is fifty, and the last one should be nineteen. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so fifteen. So here we can see the seventy-six plus three is seventy-nine. Then seventy-nine plus seven is eighty-six, and eighty-six plus eleven is ninety-seven. Ninety-seven plus Fifteen is one one two, okay, and one one two plus nineteen is one one three. So yes, one one two is the correct answer. Okay, so here the question is in a certain code language. Okay, it's a code language problem. Letters with an odd position in alphabet. Okay, alphabet. Are replaced by percentage and even positions are replaced by their position number. Okay, so then what is the sum of numbers in the code for vegetarian? Hmm. So there is one note. Number starts from one for A and ends twenty six for Z. Okay, okay. So what I will do? I will quickly write down all the letters here so that we can. Check what is the number for each letter. Okay, so here the first letter is A and the position and the position number is one. Last letter is Z and position number is twenty six. So what I will do? I will randomly put some uh, values, some dedicated values to these numbers. Okay, this can be the correct. Okay, so we are good. So I have just put it some numbers for our help. Okay. So the word is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will write this vegetarian word here. Now let's check the V is even or odd. So V is twenty two. That is even. So we will call it. Then E is an odd. E is five. E is an odd. So it's it's been replaced by percentage. So we will have to neglect that one. Then there is a G. So G is again seven. So it's an odd. Then we will have to neglect it again. Again E. Okay, ignore that. Then we got T. So T is twenty. So we will include that twenty. Then there is A. A is odd, obviously. Then R. R is eighteen. So eighteen is even. Then I. I is even odd. So we will ignore that. And I is A is again odd. And N. N is fourteen. So fourteen is an even number. Now the sum will be seventy-four. Okay, so yeah, seventy-four. So option A is the correct one. Okay, now for this question, I I want you to pause the video and read the whole passage, and come back to video. Okay, so this there are five families according to this passage: the Baileys, Atkinsons, Browns, Brooks, and Coxes. Okay, so what I will do, I will 
quickly write their names Bailey's Atkinson then Browns group and Fox Now they decided to have a family parties every year in each month. Each family hosts a party and invites the other four families. Okay. So one family will host one at a time. So which ho uh, the family which hosts a party prepares one of these five cuisines. Okay. So we have a category cuisine. Korean, Continental, German, Italian and Mexican. So I, what I will do, I will write cuisine in the corner. Now the family parties are scheduled in one of these five months March, September, August, July and February So we got another uh, category that is month Okay then are held on one of these five days Again we got a category There are five days Then each of the families serve food in one of the five colors of China so we got a color red, black, white, green, and blue. No two families can have a party scheduled on same day. Okay. So all these categories will be unique for every, 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 every family. Okay. So the following information is known about the party schedule. The point one: the Atkinsons, who are second family to host the uh, host the party in year twenty one, so. Italian cuisine. Okay, so we got the hint. The Atkinsons are Italian cuisines, and there is one more hint. A hint who are second family. Okay, so second family is and the months are March, September, August, July, and February. Okay, so the second will be Which will be the second? Okay, so the if we arrange it in a calendar format, so February, March, July, August, September, right? So the March is the second. Okay, and also I will write it the two number here for the second. Okay, moving to the second hint, the Brooks don't serve German or Mexican. Okay, so Italian is already eliminated. Where is Italian? Okay, I will just cut it down. Okay, Italian is already eliminated. Then German and Mexican are not selected by Brooks. Then there are two options Korean and Continental for Brooks. So I will write uh, K and C. Okay, K represent Korean and C is Continental. K or C, it's like K or C. Okay, and they serve in white China. So we got a white color for brown now the third point the atkinsons do not host a party on tuesday saturday or sunday so what is the remaining so not saturday not sunday not tuesday so monday and friday are remaining so for atkinsons monday and friday are the days so monday m and friday f Uh, and the Baileys aren't the last family to host the party. Okay, so Baileys are not in the September. So what what we got here? It can be February, March is already selected, then it's July, then August. Okay, so there are three possibility months for Baileys. The Baileys serve German cuisine in blue channel. Okay, so. They selected German in blue. Okay. On Tuesday. So there is one more Tuesday. Okay. And host the party one month before the Brown. Okay. So they Bailey's 
select the one one before the one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. These are the if if these are the position of the posting parties. So adhesions is on the second position. If Bailey's is one month before Brown, so one cannot be for Browns and Bailey's, right? So there is no before. Adkinson's already are at second. So it can be three, four, or four, five. Okay, so Bailey's and Browns are together. So three, four, or four, five. Okay, so I will write it down here. Three or four, and it can be four or five. The Coxes who were the first family to host a party. Okay, we got the family who is the first. So it's the Coxes. And okay, the month will be February. Okay. And here we, we need to cut this February. Now here we can see July and August. Okay. So the Baileys cannot be August. If Baileys are August, then Browns will be the September. And if Baileys are July, the Browns will be the August. Okay, so we will have to keep an eye on the coming hint. Uh, where the first family to host a party is a continental cushion in black China. Okay, so the Coxes used uh, continental and they used black. So here, see, Browns, Brown will be the Korean one. So the brown will be Korean. And what is Dimini? So Germany selected elect, Italian, Korean, and Continental are being selected. So remaining is Mexican. So Brooks the heart, Mexican one. So Mexican cuisine is selected. Then the last hint is the Brooks don't host a party on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so they don't use Saturday or Sunday. Now the for this the Saturday Sunday if we eliminate then the Monday Tuesday and Friday are remaining. So Monday Tuesday and Friday. Now Tuesday is already selected by Bailey's so Tuesday is no option. Now there is a confusion between Atkinsons and Brooks for the days. Okay and again the Browns and Coxes have Saturday and Sunday option. Okay, so if Bailey's are on the July month, then Browns will be the August, or if they are on the August, they will be September. So they have to doubt. Okay, and one of these will be the Brooks. Okay, now blue is selected, white is selected, and black is selected. There is no hint for red and green. Okay, so let's move to the. Uh, I I what I will do. I will just fill it like this. R O G R O G. Okay. So moving to the question, which family serve Mexican cuisine? So which is the Mexican? The Brooks. The answer is A. Simple. If Browns host a party on Saturday. Okay. So if Browns are on the Saturday. Okay. So the Coxes will be on Sunday. Right. Then which of the following statement is not correct? So Brooks the Korean cuisine. Is it correct? The Brooks of Korean? No, it's the Mexican. This is wrong. The Bailey's host a party in July. Yeah, Bailey can host a party in July. The Coxes host a party on Monday. The Coxes host a party on Sunday. Okay. So this is also the not correct. Then the Coxes host a party on Sunday. Yes, the Coxes host a party on Sunday. So we got two answers for this question, and it should be the uh, MCQ multiple answer choice. So the answer is the books serve Korean. It's wrong. They serve Mexican. And the uh, option C, the Coxes host a party on Monday. No, they they serve on Sunday. Moving to the last, which of the following pairs in, is incorrect? Browns, Mexican. 
browse browse Korean. Browse are not Mexico. Browse Korean. So this is wrong. Fox says February. Yes, Fox says February. So this is correct. The Atkinson's Monday. The Atkinson's Monday. Yes, it can be correct. Then the Brooks Continental. The Brooks no, it's again wrong. So the Brooks is wrong. Okay, so we again got an MCQ. These are two for the right answer. Moving to question number nine. Okay, so here we have symbols and their different meanings. Okay, what in this way or in this question, what we can do, we can directly jump to the statements and look for the what are the symbols included. So here they say C percentage G. So the point number two says C is neither greater nor equal to G. So C is neither greater nor equal means C is less than G. Okay, then G minus Y. So minus says that G is neither smaller nor that nor, nor greater. So it should be equal. Okay, so it's G is equal to Y. Then Y exclamation mark I. Then here says that Y is neither smaller than nor equal. Okay, it's not small, not equal. That means y is greater than i. Okay, so conclusion we can see y exclamation g. So y exclamation g is y is neither smaller nor equal. No, it is equal to g. So conclusion one is wrong. It doesn't follow. Then i percentage g. I is neither greater nor equal. Neither greater nor equal means it's less than g. And we can see here i is le uh, less than y and y is equal to g. So this is correct. So the second one is correct. i minus g. i is neither smaller than nor greater. I, is i equal to g? No, it's less than g. So answer is option D. Only conclusion two follows. Okay. So choose the similar option from the given option. Okay, so this is very important question. Here you have to find an option with the same sequence. This is the same. It is easy, but it's tricky. Okay, so you can see there is a C and zero. It can make you confused. Okay, so it's an illustration type of question. So here you have to be careful while solving this and uh, here the option A is the correct one. Okay, moving to the next topic, the first question here is the quant. Uh, the production of 25 kg of wheat went up to went up from $250 to $320. Okay. Find a percentage increase. Oh, okay, so there is a percentage. We have we need to find percentage increase. So see percentage increase is the new value minus old value that is base value old value is nothing but the base value divided by base value okay so the percentage increase should be with respect to the base value not with the new value so divided by 250 so the answer is uh, 75 250 and if we calculate the answer will be the answer will be 0 0.28 okay so the option c is the correct one now the elizabeth gained 20 percent by selling a novel at 120 okay so he she sells at 120 and she gained 20 percent profit find the price at which she purchased okay so let us assume the purchase price should be x and on that 20% so the 20% will be plus 20x by 100 equal to the profit added to the base price will be 120 okay, so it's simple equation and we got the equation is 120x by 100 equal to 120 
121 cut and x equal to 100 100 dollar the ratio of the scores of Audrey and Katy in the test are in the ratio 11 is to 7 okay whenever there is a ratio just write it like this assume some, some any very variable for them if their total score is 162 okay, so this doesn't mean uh, that it's the uh, it doesn't mean 11 equal to 7k just write a variable so that we can say that 11k 11k plus 7k is equal k is some any way a multiple okay which which we can multiply with both numbers the numerator and denominator and the addition of that will be the 162 so it's 18k equal to 162 and k is equal to k is equal to 9 and what we, find, we need to find then find order the score so order this order the is 11 so the score will be 11 into k and 11 into 9 is 99 so answer a is the correct the average age now we need to find the average age okay so average type of question of seven members is 25 years okay so let's assume the average uh, so the total age will be the total divided by seven is 25 so find the sum of the ages of all the members means we need to find this total so the total will be Multiply 7 on both sides to 25 to 7 that is 175. So option D is the correct. Now 12 times the date of birth. Okay, so 12 times the date of birth. Date of birth here means only the date guys, not whole date, uh, date month and year, no, only date of David added to 5 times the month of his birth. It's not mouth, it's month. Okay. It's a mistake. Month of his birth is equal to 405. So we can make a uh, equation out of this. So 12 times dead. So I will I will get a D for dead is added to 5 times month is equal to 405. Okay. If he was born on 30th of the month, means we got the D, D. So D is 30. Then find the month again, mouth, no, it's month in which he was born. So 12 into 30 plus 5m equal to 405. Simple equation. So m is equal to 9, and the ninth month is the September one. Okay. Next question. Daniel owns a shop of video players. Okay, nice, interesting. He purchased a video player for twelve hundred dollars. Okay, and he purchased. Okay, and mark the price of the video player in such a way that offering a discount of twenty percent, he would earn a profit of ten percent. Okay, that means he has made changes to the price so that. If we even say that he is giving a 20% discount, he is actually gaining 10% discount. And we need to find the marked price. Okay, it's simple. So what we can do, we can make an equation. So 1200, let's see for what he gets first. So 1200 into 10% is his profit, right? So 10 into 1200 upon 100. So this is the his profit. And this is the price he purchased so he, he, it is equals to so 120 plus 1200 it's say 1320 okay so he got 1320 but after he got he got his after discounting for 20 percent right so let's say the price will mark price is x and he gives 20 percent discount and after that he gets the price as 1320 so solving it 18x upon 100 is equal to 1320 
and x will be 1650. So x is 1650. Here, option A is the correct one. Now, here you have to see the question about. Okay, so the table given below represents the working hours. Okay, so it's a data centric question. So I want you guys to comment down the answer of this uh, question number 7. 8 and 9 okay so i am going uh, i want you to pause the video here and just comment down the questions or you can also uh, ch check the question on the telegram group uh, the link is in the description and we can discuss over there for these three questions so 7 this is the 8 and this is the ninth question So moving to the question number 10. If a number 5m by 12 is an integer, okay, if, if it is an integer, then which of the following can be the value of m? Okay, so see, 5m by 12. So m is some multiple which is multiplied with 5, and the total solution should be in an integer form. So in the, what is the format of integer? The denominator should be 1. If the denominator should be 1, then we can assume this as x and we can solve it. But instead of assuming x, what we can do, we can see any, any one of the options here which is divisible by 12. So there is only one option that is 36 which is divisible by 12. Okay, so 5 into 36 by 12. So 12, 1, here 1 and here 3. So it's 15. So it's an integer. Okay, so the option D is the correct. Now, moving to the next domain. So, the topic here is Microsoft. So, read the two statements and choose the right option. Okay. So, you can translate left to right languages in MS. Yes, we can translate that left to right. Most of the languages are left to right. You cannot translate right to left languages in MS Word. This is also true. You cannot. See this. The first one is can and second one is cannot. So the both statement follows. It's true. So option B is the correct one. In order to adjust any rows height, okay, rows height in a straight shape, which of the following key combination can be used? Okay, so they are asking for the shortcut key and the shortcut key is ALT AOH not CONTROL AOH okay so luckily we don't have a control here so it's ALT and AOH is the right answer okay so which of the following statement is not true about cloud and data centers okay which is not true okay not true so business space directly for planning yes people no they don't pay for people oh they don't pay for people they pay for hardware yes they pay for software yes and environment yes but they do not pay for people let's check for the another option cloud location is virtualized virtualized yes and has remote hardware yes so the option b is correct but we want not to so the option C data center has the ability of being instantly scalable yes scalable is the one of the property of cloud then in-house IT professions are available in case of data center yes obviously in data centers IT professions are available for any for any support if a client or business needs so the here B, C, and D are true, and A is not true. So the right of uh, answer is A. Moving to question number four, which of the following cloud service provide the, uh, does not provide application lifecycle management? See guys, does not provide application lifecycle management. 
So the option C is all of the mention provide this service. Okay, then uh, option A is Azure, B is GCP, and uh, D is AWS. Okay. See guys, application lifecycle management is the basic property of a cloud. If they do not provide this, then no business will be reliable on this cloud. So option C will be the right answer. All of the mission provides these services. Question number five. Which of the following attack treats the encryption algorithm as the black box? Okay, so black box comes with the, the attack for password encryption. So here implementation attacks is not the correct and social engineering is also not correct root force yeah maybe analytical yeah so the right answer is analytical which of the following options shows the correct relationship between the command and its description okay, okay so we what we got we got a with none of the above then there is b with okay hyphen d uh, bind address port connect to the target host using SSH. No, those are not connected with SSH. So, option B is wrong. Okay, so dash E port allows remote host to connect the local forwarded ports. Yes, it's true. Then J dash J allows remote host to connect to local. No, it's B. It's B. So is wrong okay so the zoom range in ms excel is simple 100 percent to 400 which of the following security standard has the possibility of breaking the encryption during the initial four-way handshake okay so four-way handshake comes here okay so guys i want you to check and comment down the answer below so what will be the answer for this four-way handshake encryption okay okay so which of the following is not a vulnerability of the network okay so not a vulnerability so root spoofing no it's a property identifying resource id yes it is then ip address spoofing we have spoofing is there then weak or non-existent authentication okay it is a so it's not a vulnerability of the network so answer d is the correct one okay so which of the following is incorrect representation okay incorrect representation of layer number of the osm model so osm model has seven layers starting from the bottom to the top Okay, so for the, the bottom will be physical, then data, then network, then session, uh, sorry, transport, then session, then presentation, and the last one is uh, application. Okay, so according to the option, layer 6 is the presentation layer? Yes, layer 6 is presentation. And we want incorrect, not the correct one. So option A is wrong. Then layer 4 is a session layer. No, layer 4 is transportation layer. And this is the correct answer. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I want you uh, to wait for the second video about pseudocode round. And it will be uploaded soon. So, uh, please subscribe, like this video and hit the bell icon for the next pseudocode video. Thank you.